Okay, I'm gonna tell you something that you wanna know. Okay, we're gonna show you James Kipp Campground in Montana. Here we are in Montana at James Kipp Campground. Very, very, very nice place. Like this place, believe it or not, it's worth the trip just to come here. These campsites, look at the size of the campsite. We pulled the truck and the trailer in and we never even unhooked and we're not even on the road. Like these campsites are unbelievable. Cement is BLM. It's $12 a night. Now that's the off season. I don't know what it is during the summer. But they got a camp post and it's an the guy is awesome. The place is really, really clean. Like even the bathrooms. And there's not a stick of garbage around here anywhere, which is kind of rare for um, some of the states. And it's really beautiful. Like it's really, and it's right on the, it's on the south side of Missouri. Okay, we came down from uh, James Kipp Campground in Montana and we used to Denver. And at Denver, we stopped at the Shavano BLM area. So that's the one coming up now. We're in Poncho Springs, Colorado, which is south of Denver. And we were invited here by a friend of ours, Robin from Creativity RV. <laughs> Robin, come here. Robin, <laughs> come here. Robin, come here. Everybody knows Robin from Creativity RV. Smile, say hi. Come on, you can say hi. And she's running away now. And this place is just gorgeous. It's, I can't, I'll get the name wrong, but it's Shavano, S-H-A-N-V-A-N-A-O. It's Shavano, and it's just friggin' gorgeous. And uh, I just wanted to show this to you because a lot of people don't even know it exists. But this place is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Great big campsites. No garbage, which is almost impossible. And it's BLM land with no, and you don't have to pay for it. Um, I don't think it's gonna stay like this much longer because I think it's gonna snow in the next day or two. But it was really not bad at all. At least we didn't freeze nothing. It only went down to like minus one last night. That's Celsius, so. Um, I'd like to thank Robin for telling us about this place. This is a nice one. You might have to come back to this one. So, oh, and everything's within a couple of miles of this place, like food, water, uh, gas, Walmart, everything's right here. It's very, it's a good spot, really good spot. Okay, we left Denver and we came down to, uh, from Poncho Springs and we came to uh, Texas and we stopped at Dumas, Texas. Now we are in Dumas, Texas. And you won't believe this. Look at this. Just look at this. Come here, Al, show them this. This is free 24 hours. Look at that. 50, 30, and 110. Free power, paved level, dog run, a big dog run there. There's sewer dumps over there. And you know what the worst part about this is? Did I tell you? It was free. 24 hours, free. Like Texas, I got it. And the other worst thing about it is, the gas is 2.10. 2.10. That's what I paid for a liter in Canada. 2.10 a gallon. You got to come to Dumas, Texas. That's all I'm saying. Okay, now after we left Dumas, Texas, we were heading to uh, Louisiana, and we made a wrong turn, and we ended up here. So that's the campground that's coming up right now is... Cloud Crossing. Crow Cloud Crossing. <coughs> Cloud Crossing, Goldonna, I was going to say Iowa, but it's not. It's Louisiana. Okay, welcome back. Now, I've been telling you guys, you got to work with your GPS and your maps and all that and make sure you know where you're going. Because you know what happens when you make a wrong turn? No, the other way, Al. Oh. This is what happens when you make the wrong turn. 
Okay. I, I thought we were going What's to... What's going on, guys? Welcome I... back to No Legs, No <laughs> Problem TV. Wait, sorry. Sorry, Badge. That, sorry. Sorry. I, sorry. Oh, we had to throw it in. Anyway, <laughs> we're, Neil invite us down to this cross. Cloud crossing. Crowd crossing. No. Cloud, cloud crossing in Louisiana. And this place is just friggin' gorgeous. Now, this is free, 14 days, and... There's maybe five people here. So Neil asked the warden about it, and the only time they use the damn thing is in the hunting season. It's empty all summer long, and this place is gorgeous. We're like, I don't know, 15 miles north of uh, Goldana, Louisiana. Just Google it. It's awesome. unbelievable. Like, this is just as good as the one up in Montana we talked about because this is all going to be in the same video. And this is just gorgeous. Well, it's 70-some degrees here today. And uh, just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. But I'll leave that with you. And uh, we're going to carry this on because we're going to Texas. And just remember, this is what happens when you make a wrong turn. Okay? Just remember that. You make a wrong turn, you end up with this. Sorry, Badge. Okay, welcome back. What we're doing, this is uh, the strip of uh, video. So the next one coming up is Cooper Lake. That's the end of our trip to uh, Texas. So um, a very good campground, very nice, well maintained, no garbage. It's just unbelievable. Everything's paved and cement. Uh, they don't have, uh, the only thing is they don't have sewer at the sites, but they have power and water. So, and they got 50, 30, and 15. And uh, the dump stations are just up top. So, eh, it's, it's all right. Nice place on a lake. You can get spots on a lake. Really nice. Treat area, picnic table, great big barbecues. Now, I've got a picture of the campground here. And you'll see it's very well, it's very spread out. It's very big campground. So, uh, yeah. Our trip from Canada to um, Texas and those are the campgrounds really nice campgrounds we stayed at a couple of beautiful beautiful campgrounds so the next trip will be from uh, Texas to Tombstone we're going to Tombstone baby <laughs>